fuck are you looking at? So for some reason that's absolutely beyond me at this point. Um, some guy just happened to give me his like pass for the day. I didn't ask for this. I, I didn't want it, but I mean, I'll take what I can get. So uh, shout out to that absolute legend. What a fine doodad I've run into. Oh, complete with creatures. Pardon me, good sir. Can I bother you for an interview? Can I get an exclusive? That's a no. Silly little vehicle. never get a car as beautiful looking as this one. This is back from an older age where people cared how cars look. I just want to take a second to appreciate that monster engine. to the mechanic shop. I smell something. Doth my nugs bequeath me? It's the smelly old Plymouth. I found it. Alex, give us your Cheeto ranking. Seven out of your mother.
follow these two to their natural habitat. goes so I was going on my safari and I found a wild for Bronco Notice the board up there? I it did. It gives a lot of information. Yeah, this is the car I drove was in the service. And uh, I bought it in 64. I got from 64. I drove it and the guy I bought it with, he got discharged before me, gave me the keys as a going away present. And then I drove it down Route 66 before it got all chopped up. Oh. And then it sat in my dad's garage and my garage until 95 when me and the wife decided to restore it. And it's a 49 two-door Fleet Line Deluxe uh, style of Fleet Line. Uh, and it's, a, it's the original color. The car has never been off the frame. It's got the original brake lines over it yet. Uh, it's a six, uh, straight six uh, with the oil finger rods. Uh, about that, and I, I just drive it wherever I take it. So it's been here at this show 26 years in a row. So we've had the car about 12 years now. It's a Buick Roadmaster 1953. It was the first year for Buick for the V8 engine. And it has a Dynaflo transmission. When you drive the car, the Dynaflo is smooth. It's just you never hear or feel the transmission. It's a joy to drive. We bought it from a new owner in Flint, Michigan, where the vehicle was originally manufactured. It was originally owned by the journalist at the Flint Journal. And if you ever go to Flint, look at the back of the Flint Journal building. And on the back of the building is a mural of a car park with several vehicles. And this Buick is featured in the top right-hand corner. They even constructed within the building little portholes to replicate the van. Red indicators on the vehicle. So it's a 1948 Flint Deluxe. Four-door sedan, suicide doors in the rear, six-cylinder flathead in line, making 95 horsepower and 173 pound-feet of torque. It's got a three-speed manual shifted on the column, and uh, just enough features to hold the family. Seat six on two bench seats. Uh, it keeps with modern traffic if you give it a lot of time to uh, accelerate. And it's my class.